Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Can Kyle Martin Do Your Job? And today I am at the Best Western Regency Inn and Oh Hungry's Restaurant. And we're gonna see if I can uh, actually work in the world of uh, hotel motel management. We're gonna find out, we're gonna truly find out, can Kyle Martin do your job? We're inside the Best Western Regency Inn and look, I have been given a name tag. So I'm official and I've got your, don't hold it up in front of your face. <gasps> And I even have a uniform, so we're gonna see. Oh, it's a medium. This could be a tight fit. Uh -oh. That's okay. What's your name? Linus. Linus? Yes. You, and you're gonna be like my handler. You're gonna follow me around. Oh, Make sure probably. I don't. She, look at, she keeps getting further and further away. Okay. Uh, yeah, there you go. You're gonna make sure I don't break anything? Yes. Okay, good. All right. We're in the lobby of the Best Western Regency Inn, and with me, General Manager Rich Heckner. And uh, Rich is uh, going to kind of. Show me the ropes here today, along with Linus. Greatly appreciate that. I like having a handler, by the way. It kind of makes me feel. You, you like that? I like that. Make sure I don't break anything. <laughs> you know, make sure I'm, you know, following the rules. I like that a lot. Uh, now, you gave me, a, by the way, very slimming. Uh, it, 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 yes, yes. Unfortunately, we could only find an extra small. No. <laughs> so if you want to bulk it out, I, I, you I, can I, do that. I kind of feel like the Incredible Hulk in this shirt. You gave me a name tag. That's awesome. Uh, before we talk about what you're going to have me do, let's talk a little bit about the Best Western Regency Inn. Mm -hmm. um, how many rooms and, and banquet rooms do you have? Because you guys just won the best of the best we, for like three different things. We did. We did. We, we've got 106 overnight rooms. Most of the rooms have two beds. Each room has a microwave and refrigerator in it. It also has the hair dryer, the iron ironing board, the flat screen TVs, uh -huh. all all the niceties there, which you'll see because you'll you'll learn well, how those I rooms look. I use the hair dryer a lot when I stay here. <laughs> <laughs> and see what happens. I know. There's no, there's no problem there. There's no problem there. Um, but um, uh, we've got a, that. We've got the, a banquet hall. We uh, one of our one of our awards, which we're honored to have, is the best banquet hall, uh, best wedding venue, and then also our restaurant over there, Oh Hungry's. That's um, uh, that won the best tenderloin in the area. Wow. So so we were honored to receive three of those awards. So so Very you know neat. it's. Very uh, neat, Rich. Now, now we do hold, you know, our rooms to some pretty strict standards, and, and and we may have you do some of that. So we may be holding you here, Kyle, to a pretty strict standard. But, but I, I, I know you can, I know you can pull this one off. Okay, so I'm guessing by you saying that, I'm going to be doing some housekeeping. We, we, we got you some housekeeping. We also, you no, know, we have a very nice sign out front that you we, do, the, the you we do. have to change every now and the then. Marquee. So boy, so nice to have you here because we, we have to change that today as well. So that's you're going to really help us okay. there. So, okay. so, so I appreciate okay. that. And, you know, hope you don't get nosebleeds at heights or something. I won't. Like that, but, no, okay. no, no. It's not that high up, but no, that's okay. I'll do that. All right. Uh, I'm not that. a good speller. I'll just oh. tell you that right now. Do you have spell check? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got about 150 of them traveling every People hour across. Drive so they'll by and go. That's not how you yeah, spell yeah, yeah. tenderloin. That, that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not tender lion, it's tenderloin. Yeah, exactly. That's what I get all the time. So, uh -huh. so we got that. We got that to put up there. Um, and then we might have you even do some cooking. Ooh. Yeah, so we've got a little things going over on, over in the hungry, so we might need a little help. You know, we might be able to show you how to, uh, you can't, now you can't, we can't give out the secrets of the ingredients, okay. but we might be able to show you how to do one of those infamous okay. tender lions. All I can do is make an omelet. <laughs> I'm just going to warn you right now. That's about... My well, well, we're level. we're gonna put a disclaimer in this for the guests coming in because okay. you know, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you know. Do I have to wear a hairnet? <laughs> That's all I want to know. <laughs> I don't think we might okay. have a problem with you though. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. So, all right. We're looking forward so, to it. So, uh, where should we go first? Well, I tell you what. Let's you know maybe we want to need to put up the tenderloin sign first. Okay. Let's right. so let, let's let's get that. All right. Done. Let's do that. We'll be right, right. back. It's pretty simple. Yeah. You want me? I'll, I'll go up and kind of show you the. Okay. Here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Have you done this before? Never. I'm here if you need me. Yeah. I feel like we should. All right, I feel like we should be painting something. Okay. And then we have our letters over here. If you like me, I can't reach the top. Right. So that's why you see all this darkened. Okay. But we have, let me hand you some letters. Yeah. We're going to put O Hungry's. We're going to follow with a, with a we're going to put O Hungry's on the top and then T-Loin, $6. Barbecue ribs, $6. Let's do it. 
<laughs> all right, let's do it. Okay. So, all right. So you said this this is the top as high as you want to go? Yes, that's as high as, as high as we can reach. The other one, your turkey is the one that. You don't want. Yeah, nobody wants to. <laughs> nobody needs to see that. The overlap. Little bit more? You get it up there and then we'll see. Okay. Got it. It's always fun too when they when the wind hits you just right. Yeah. You know. Usually fine if you don't look down. <laughs> it is a little higher up than when it's here. Yeah, yeah. So just stay looking up, you'll be fine. Yeah, we do a Oh you've got a apostrophe. Hungries. Okay, I don't know how centered that is. That that looks pretty centered. You should have a T. Would you use another? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, the T. We're going the second line because it's going to be. T T. Now I'm uh, I'm about 56 percent sure I spelled this right. So it's not tender lion. It's not tender lion. I I flip flop the O and the. Yeah, I had to think about it for a second. <laughs> I like it. I like it. You're a centered individual. Good. I like it. We got six bucks there. Okay. I like it. Simple. Simple. And then down here, you want to put. We've got barbecue ribs. Six dollars. Oh, they're outstanding, buddy. You know, I drive by the marquee every day, a couple of times, and it really is a great advertising tool. I mean, how long is? Uh, I mean, this hotel has been here a long time. Since I mean, the early seventies. Early seventies. Yeah. Right at the junction of Highway 30 and Highway 14. Ribs. Uh, Six bucks. I think I need to move those down a little bit. We have to find our center. You get told that by a lot of customers. You, you do? Move the tenderloins over. You get that a lot. Okay, I'll move this over. Our squiggly? I think I think I think you're right. It was up. It was wrong. I like it. I like it. I think I think we did all right. Oh, hungries, tea loin six bucks, barbecue ribs six bucks. Now there's going to be a line coming in, so we're going to have to get those made later. Okay, we'll have to work on those. All right. Well, I can almost see Alaska from here. <laughs> all right. We are back in a hallway right now um, at the Best Western Regency, and hopefully they uh, have secluded me in a part where I'm not going to upset too many people. Uh, we have Rich, and Rich, you're going to introduce it, the head housekeeper, right? Right. This is this is our head housekeeper, Veronica. Veronica, she has a great job. She's going to show you kind of how to how to make the bed and how to keep everything straight because the, the big thing is, you know, if a guest notices something, you know, you know um, um, we can get dinged on it. So mm -hmm. we want to make sure that we're doing it just right, and she's perfect at showing you how to do this. So she uh, does a great job with the rooms, too. So. Awesome. All right. We're going to go into a room, and uh, we'll get Veronica all mic'd up, and she's going to show me uh, what to do. So, Veronica, when you come in um, every day and you have to change out a room, you're changing all of the bedding? Yes, we do. All of the bedding. Yes. So you just start with fresh linen? Yes, yes. And do you have, you have a laundry facility here? Yeah, yeah. I have for the whole week. Okay. And you just go down there and you get the new, the new linen and you yeah. come on down here. I'm going to warn you, uh, I'm not very good at making beds. So... 
Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that out there right now. I'm it's gonna do. It's very easy. It's very. Our, it's very yes. easy. Okay. Our manager, he helped in us sometimes when we are really busy. Yeah, when and you're. And he's learning. Got it down from four hours to two hours. When you're short. <laughs> when you're short staffed. Okay. Yeah. So so the bed's gonna okay. look like this. You've t you've taken off all the linen. Yep. Okay. So this is the elastic sheet. Right. To go on the bottom. Yep. Okay. Do you ever put it on the wrong way? No. No. We ever. Find Always, no. always the. I've been known to put maybe it on when sideways. You're learning, right? Yeah, maybe when yeah, I'm learning. When yeah, you're learning. yeah, I've been known to put it on sideways. It's not good. Yeah. See, look, I've already messed up a corner. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's okay. You just uh, need uh, to pull it hard. Hard. There we go. And then use your hands like use this. Use your hands. Yes. Got it. Like an iron. Like an iron. Yes. I got it. And this is the flat sheet. This is the second sheet. Uh -huh. Go on top of the flat. Uh huh. Do you ever short sheet the beds just for fun? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Never. There's Never. no nonsense with Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the second one. And the same, you got to Same thing, yeah, okay, yes. we're smoothing. Yes. And the blanket is behind you can... Do you, do you tuck blanket. it in? Nope, not you yet. Don't, okay, not you yet. don't tuck. That's the last part. Oh, okay? That, okay. oh, you tuck it all in together. <laughs> yes. So you don't have to tuck twice. Yes. yes. That's ingenious. Yes. Save time. You have this and down. Save time and energy. It's time and, yeah. And the tag always go in the bottom. Ta tags okay? on the bottom. Yep. So I've already handed it to you the wrong yes, way. Yes, that's well, we're not. We're, we're learning. Okay? This is like a finely tuned machine. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. And the blanket has to go right here. So you don't have to be here close to... Here, okay. So you made right there, right, right there. Right yeah. there is good. Yeah, right there. Good. Thank goodness you're here. Okay. Okay, we're Use smoothing. Again. We're, yeah. There's a lot of smoothing. No lines. We don't no, have lines. To have no lines. Yeah. Okay. okay. So this is the last one. Okay. This can be like a comforter, but we don't use comforters. Yeah. Because it's the best Western uh, stands. Sure. Standards. Standards. Yeah. They have a. So this is a top of sheet. Okay. A top of cheat? What's a top of cheat? Cheat! cheat. Got it! Yep. Got it! Can be like a comfort, this one. Oh, you know? I was like trying to make up. What is a, I thought that was okay. some, something special. <laughs> okay. And it's a lot of smoothing going okay, on. Okay, so again, your hands. No sprinkles. No, no sprinkles. Nope. Got it. Okay, so now we're going to take the three blanket and the both sheets at the same time. Uh huh. Take it at the same time. Same and, time. And we're going to. Do it like this. Okay? Oh, I don't think I did it very well. I yeah, kinda, you got it. I folded it and it kind of. Okay, so now we're going to stack it in. And then you. In you, there. Do you tuck it in? Yep, yes. You tuck it all the way yes, down? Yes, sir. See, you're closer to the ground than I am. This yes. hurts my back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and sometimes we have to make like over 20 beds a day. So you go home, you're sore. We are. Oh. Yes. Okay. Man. Ready for the corner? Because this is the hard part. It's hard. Yes. It's very hard to learn, okay? Yeah. But you can learn. Well, okay. that's debatable. Look it. <laughs> like this. You want to try that one? Uh, sure. Try to do this corner? Yeah. Do you see that? Those are my knees cracking. Okay. You hear that? That's not good. <gasps> I couldn't do this every day. Uh oh, looky. Is there, have to be more tired. Okay? Is, there, is there trouble? Yes. Oh, no, what? I'm in trouble already. No, no, no. <laughs> it's okay. But uh, you're supposed to be doing that corner. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, she's kind of a taskmaster. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Uh, um, tuck it in there. Tuck it, yeah? Yep. And tuck, fold tuck, this fold. Part right there, like this. Like this? Mm -hmm. And then use this can. Uh huh. Like this. Uh huh. And now it's tuck it in there. This is like kind of wrapping Christmas presents. Kind of. I'm kind really, of. I'm really bad at that kind too. Of. That's why now we have the bags, more easy. This put the gate. Oh inside yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're I know. Done. I love that. I love yep. Christmas. So this is the bed. Okay. That yeah. Yep. What, what do you think, dude? Good job. You well, hired. Well, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> Let's not get crazy here, Veronica. Yeah. Okay, so this is the two pillows. Yeah. We got two pillows already. 
Is there like a special end? You want to put the zipper end in the sleeve or does it's it okay. matter? That's does it matter? Do you use your chin to put this in here? I didn't know if you, you, you see, whatever you, easy for you've you. got a way to do it. Whatever I, easy for I you. want to do it the Veronica way. Whatever easy for you, because everybody were different. Already, you're wait. You've done two in the time I'm standing here. Oh, this is not good. The pressure's on. All right. Do you ever fluff them? Okay. Mm -hmm. Make sure the corners are refilled very well. They're, they're, I didn't do the it. Corners. Corners. Yep. That way your pillow can look so straight. It looks straight. Mm -hmm. This doesn't very look very nice. It doesn't look very straight. <laughs> That's okay. That's it. You did three, I did one. Okay. Yeah. Do, you, do you stack them like that? You, you need to do this. Huh? Oh. Make, make a tie. A tie? Like this. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm doing, Veronica. <laughs> You're fine. You just need to stack it in there like this. This gal See, knows her stuff. Now, yeah. Put it right there. Right there? Yeah. See four pillows? Do you ever jump on the beds from time to when Rich isn't in the no, room? Do you ever go I'm like going to one of go, those <laughs> days? One of those days. You just go, hey, Rich there isn't here, let's jump on the beds. And this is the last <laughs> decoration piece yeah. that we put her. That, make that's sure it? it's nice and clean. Yep. Yeah. No you stains make, on make it. sure it's nice and clean. Yep. 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 Okay. Gotcha. And then ready. Wow. Veronica, I am super impressed. Okay. It's a hard job, huh? It is. Uh, yeah. It is uh, much more difficult than what I thought. My, I can barely make my bed um, with the Star Wars comforter that I have at my house. Yeah. So it's this, way different than our house. Yeah. <laughs> This is very, very nice. Thank yes. you for showing this. You're welcome this. anytime. Sh showing You're welcome, this. okay? Yeah. To West Western. Yeah, all right. Ta-da! We're back in the kitchen area. We're back in the kitchen area here at uh, Oh Hungry's Restaurant, which is attached to the Best Western Region CN. And they just won Best of the Best Tenderloin. Uh, so we're going to actually bread a tenderloin. We're going to fry it up here. And Rich, why don't you go ahead and introduce this man, uh, this young man. And uh, Very excited. Uh, th this young man's name is Doug. He's, he's one of our lead cooks here. Um, does an outstanding job with, uh, with, with, with all, all different kinds of dishes that he has. But now, now we're not going to tell you everything about the tenderloin because we sprinkle a little magic in it. However, we'll show you how the process. So we don't want to give anything away, but, um, but I'm going I'm to let Doug take it away. And he's going to show Kyle how to... How to, how to set the tender line up. All right, Doug. So what do I, I wash my hands. Do I need to put gloves on? Uh, if you're going hands-on, yeah. Yeah, we're, oh, Doug, this yeah. is a hands-on operation. All right. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Is this one size fits all? I have really small. I, I hope so. I have very small hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, right away, I'm having problems getting the gloves on. There we go, there's one. Dip your hand in the flour just a little bit. Just a, just a little? Yeah, just a little bit, and the glove will just slide right on. Oh, okay. Got it. Let's see. Well, this one. Okay, this one that helps. Works. All right. All right. So what do we do? All right, we're going to start off with ten lines. We're going to drop. Well, let's just do two. I'll do one, and you do one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. So let's start off with the two buns. Just a little bit of butter on the grill. All right, two buns. Oh, you got one. Yeah. Got, it, got it. It's a little bit of butter. A little bit of butter. Is yeah. that enough butter for both? Yeah. Got it's it. Kind of smeared just a little bit. Got, so got it. it. We'll give them a good minute, minute and a half to cook. And come over here and do our tenderloins. Boy, those are big. Not too bad. So we're just going to take it and we're going to double dip these. So we're going to dip it once. We're just going to kind of smash it around. Got it. Okay, so is that about? Okay, yeah, so you try different one. So you, you double dip it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yep. Is this egg? Yep. I got it. Yep, it's just egg. That's what I thought. All right, so. And I double dipped it. This is about our tenderloin size. I'll wait for you. So do you do you, you pound it down like that? Yeah, just kind of pound it. And while you're doing it, kind of just kind of push sideways just a little bit. Like while you're doing it. Got it. You can punch it. Think of the person you hate the most. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that looks good. Okay. Okay, I'll it, dip it back in the egg. Dip it back. It. All right. Cover it one more time. So the key is kind of to double dip it. I gotcha. Double dip it so it's nice and crunchy. Got it. All right. Looks good. Okay. I have a future in tenderloin making. Not possibly. too bad. I don't. All right, we're gonna put them both in this fryer. This is our tenderloin fryer. Yeah. yeah. Just be careful. Yep. How long does is it typically in there? Uh, we're gonna do probably about three minutes, three and a half minutes. Uh huh. And I'm gonna put a basket on them so they don't float, so both sides cook. Sure. Evenly. Sure. So we got three minutes, roughly. Gotcha. Yeah. It's on the other side of her. Okay. Now we're gonna get our toppings ready. Has somebody eaten these? So what do you always put on a tenderloin? I mean, can they request yeah, they can certain request toppings? Whatever they want, but normally it comes with lettuce, onions, and pickles is what we give them. We have some people that want tomatoes. Uh, we do mayo, mustard. Gotcha. The works if they want. Gotcha. Uh, normally we just do the onions and pickles for most people. We give them a few onions. So you just kind of pile everything on, a, on, on yeah. the lettuce there, gotcha. So you just so, take a, a leaf. Oh. Yeah, take a leaf, rip the stem off. Sometimes you gotta look for a good one. Okay. Yeah, here, let me grab one here. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Just rip the stem off. Yep. And then uh, how much onion? Just eh, four or five pieces. Gotcha. We'll do. Gotcha. About the same for pickles, you know, five pieces. Just depends on the pickle sure. size. Well, yeah, you gotta have pickles if yeah. you're making a tenderloin. Got it. Looks good. Man, yours look better than mine. Hold on, let me get another pickle on there. <laughs> <laughs> let me get another pickle. On there. All right, so, so our buns should. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, they look fairly good. It's pretty good. Got it. That one's ready. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get these set up because we got. I'll check the tenderloins in just a second. So, yep, no, Do you just, pile that on first? Yep, just go ahead and stick it on one of the tops. Got it. Got That's it. Good. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Look at those. Now, yeah, let's give them just a little bit longer, maybe another 30 seconds. But they're looking good. Just a really slight pink in the middle. They got to hit at least 155. Got it. For this port. And this is a full operational kitchen. I mean, you guys do all kinds of... Yeah, we're doing this along with everything else at right. the same time normally. So, so, like during lunchtime, dinner time, you're, you're busy. Do you have any help back here, Doug? Or is uh, it... Normally, there's two of us. Two of you? Two cooks. She'll be here at four. So, yeah, I get help. Yeah. And she's back there doing my prep. Work. Well, there you go. You got a prep cook. Awesome. Yep, she's my prepper. All right, let's go ahead and check yours. See, I'll just so you kind of bend it a little bit, you yeah, know? Yeah, I just kind of bend it. See how there's a slight pink in there, though? Yeah. We're going to give it just another Got one it. minute. And they all cook different times, really. Yeah. They, they vary. You just got to kind of break into it, each and every one of them. Sure. You know, they all, I would say it would all cook at three minutes, but they don't. Different sizes, different... It depends how you pound it. So we're good for just a second. You put the uh, mustard on. A lot of people like mustard on there. Most of the they do most of their condiments out there at the table. Do they? Yeah. Uh, but if they request mayo, I do have mayo. That's the only thing we don't have out there. But they have the ketchup mustard at the tables. 
Alright. We should be going good. He looks pretty good. That looks good. That one's good. Just gonna let it drip dry for yeah, just yeah. a few seconds. You don't want any hot grease when better. somebody bites into it. No. Oh. Yeah, we'll just give him a couple seconds. Very good. And we'll pretend we're doing other stuff. Pretend we're doing other stuff. Yep. So are you, are you making a lot of times multiple meals? I mean, you're. Um, I mean, this is kind of the yeah. the, the the definition of of uh, multitasking. You're I mean, making like yeah, a tenderloin over here, doing, a burger yeah, over here on the grill. Sometimes I got a pizza going back there. A couple got a things pizza. in the fryer, a steak. You know, a couple yeah. other things going. It just depends on the day. Wow. See, I've never done food service before. Um, it can be stressful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I bet. So. That looks pretty good. It's not dripping all over the place. There you go. I need to pretty good tender. That looks pro I, I might have a future in this. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. Well, that's good. Well, then we just cap them up. So what do you do? Do you, you just uh, send them out and, or do you have to get a waitress uh, to come get it? Or do you yeah, they come and get it. They come and get done. it. And normally we got fries or chips. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and do chips. Okay. Just for a visual. These are just our homemade potato chips. Do you, do you fry those here too? Yeah, we fry them. The Lowry's salt and pepper, salt and Lowry's seasoning. Awesome. And there's our tenderloin with chips. Now go get cleaned up. There you go. Folks, we there made we some go. tenderloin. Hand breaded. Tenderloins at Old Hungry's Restaurant, along with Doug. Uh, thank you. I You're appreciate welcome. it. Well, we're done. We did uh, three different things here on Can Kyle Martin Do Your Job. We did the marquee. Excellent job, though. Excellent uh, job. Well, you, know. you helped me. You handed me the letters. Uh, I made a bed. I'm pretty sure Veronica doesn't want me back. <laughs> Almost pop. When she that, was, that was that was good. Yeah. You know, I did notice that you know you had a little uh, a, a few creases on one yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. She straightened them out though. She she's pretty sharp at picking that. Stuff it was up. interesting when she walked over to that side of the bed that I was working on. She went, uh oh, <laughs> that was a sign right there that I should not go into housekeeping. And then I just made a tenderloin with Doug at O'Hungry's Restaurant. So uh, that's going to wrap up. Can Kyle Martin do your job? Rich Heckner, a general manager at the Best Western. Thank you so much. Well, good, good to have you. Appreciate it, my you, friend. And, and you're hired anytime. All right, thank you. <laughs>